Greetings to you. Welcome to Boats of Wisdom. And today is part three in the series, Make Good Things Happen. Make Good Things Happen. I encourage you to go to our YouTube channel so you can watch part one and part two of this series, Make Good Things Happen. Part three here. Go straight to Joshua chapter one, verse six. And I'm from Amphi Bible class. Joshua chapter one from verse six is written. Be strong, confident, and of good courage, for you shall cause these people to inherit the land which I swore to their fathers to give them. Hallelujah. So God is talking to Joshua, and he tells him, be strong, confident, and of good courage. And of good courage, for you shall cause these people, which people? The Israelites that is now leading in place of Moses who died. Cause these people to inherit the land which I swore to their fathers to give them. So God is telling Joshua, you are going to make good things happen to these people. You are going to make them inherit the land which I swore their fathers. So the people that Joshua is going to lead now, is going to lead them to be property owners. They are going to own lands. They are going to be shifting from being in the wilderness where they have been for Almost 40 years now, they're going to go into the promised land where God promised that they are going to be landowners. So Joshua is leading. He's making good things happen. And here he's relying on God's word and God is giving him uh, the direction. God is telling him. Now, God says to him, be of good courage. See, if you are courageous, it means you are not deterred by danger or pain. If you are courageous, you are brave. If you are courageous, if you are courageous, it means you dare to believe. See, God is telling Joshua here, dare to believe my word. Remember earlier, so in, uh, in the other in Post of Wisdom part two in this series, part two, make things happen. Uh, God told Joshua that he was not going to leave him at all. Maybe let's go back there to let's read uh, Joshua chapter one, verse five, and go into six. Joshua chapter one, from verse five, and go straight into six. It's written, no man shall be able to stand before you, that's Joshua, all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so I'll be with you. I will not fail you or forsake you. Then you go into verse 6. Be strong, confident, and of good courage. So God is telling Joshua, dare to believe my word. Dare to believe my word that I will not leave you nor forsake you. Dare to believe my word that you, Joshua, are going to be able to lead the people into the promised land where they will, good things are going to happen to them, they will end up owning lands. At this moment, they weren't owning any lands. They were in the wilderness. So dare to believe God's word. Be courageous. You want to make good things happen, dare to believe God's word. So God told Joshua, dare to believe my word. Dare to believe that you are going to be able to lead these people into the promised land, where the good things are going to happen to them. Hallelujah. Let's continue to read go verse Verse uh, 7. Only you be strong and very courageous that you may that you may do according to all the law. Now notice here, God tells Joshua again, be what? Be very courageous. Notice the change of tense. In verse 6, God told Joshua, be of good courage. Dare to believe me. Be of good courage. In verse 7, he tells him, be very courageous. So he's telling him, hang on. Not only should you just dare believe my word, dare to believe my word at the highest levels. Take my word as it is. Very courageous. Dare to believe my word as it is. I don't know what purpose God has told you to fulfill in this world, and I don't know what challenges you might be facing. And whatever God has got an answer for it in his word. God has given some people... A- the words that they must follow. But they were not courageous enough. No, God is telling Joshua, be very courageous. Do not compromise at all. Have conviction, not preference. You must be a person with a conviction mentality, not a preference. Because a preference, you can change. A conviction, you don't change. So God tells Joshua, be very courageous. Be a person who lives by conviction, that believes God's word 100%. Be very courageous. I read again Joshua 1 verse 7. Only be strong and very courageous. 
Be strong. There are no ceases in God's army. God gives the ability to be strong. Be strong in your spirit. It's so be strong in your spirit. So when you hear God's word, what does it do? God's word brings faith to you. So you get strong in your spirit. As you exercise, as you act on God's word, you get strong. So God's telling Joshua, hang on. Only you be strong and very courageous that you may do according to all of the law. God says, Joshua, do everything according to all the law. What is the law? The word of God. Let's continue the same verse. It says, according to all the law which Moses, my servant, commanded you, turn not from it to the right hand or to the left hand, that you may prosper wherever you go. So God's telling Joshua, very clear, be very courageous. Believe my law. Believe my word. Because God gave Moses the word, the law. All right? And Moses passed it on to Joshua and the children of Israel. And God said, hang on, Joshua, do my Lord, do my word, do everything in my word without compromise. Don't leave out anything. He says, turn not from it. Turn not from it to the right or to the left. God's word gives you direction. God's word gives you direction. So God, you want to make good things happen in your life. You don't make good things happen in other people that you lead. What do you do? Do not turn away from God's word. Stay focused on God's word. Make God's word number one. Stay on God's word. Have to maintain what? If God said it, I will do it. Stick to the word. You will come back with the testimony. So God tells Joshua very clearly, turn not from it, the law. Turn from it to the right hand or to the left. That what? That you may prosper wherever you go. You see that? Prosper wherever you go. Your prosperity is guaranteed wherever you go. As long as you hold on to God's word. Do God's word. It doesn't matter where you are. It doesn't matter what circumstances are existing. It doesn't matter which government is in power. It doesn't matter what pestilence are there. It doesn't matter what the weather is like. It doesn't matter if there's wars or not. Hold on to God's word. You prosper wherever God sends you. You make good things happen if you have the mentality to hold on to God's word, regardless of where you are. It's got nothing to do with your background. It's got everything to do with you holding on to God's word. Hold on to God's word. Verse 9, God tells Joshua, this book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth, but shall meditate on it day and night, that you may observe and do according to all that is written in it. For then you shall make your way prosperous, and then you shall do wisely and have good success. Hallelujah. Meditate on it. Meditate on, God's, meditate on my word day and night. Meditate on it. We'll pick up that point later. Go to verse 9. Verse 9, God says, If I not commanded you, be strong, vigorous, and very courageous. Notice when the word courage was first brought into us, be of good courage. Then it shifted to be very courageous, Joshua. Now it has shifted a third time to go to talk to Joshua on the same subject. Be strong, vigorous. Vigorous means what? You are passionate. You are hot. You are hot. Be very courageous. Be not afraid. Neither be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Do not be afraid. Courageous people are never afraid. Do not be afraid. Fear is from Satan. God tell, why did God tell Joshua three times to be courageous? Very courageous. Vigorous and very courageous. Do not be afraid. Why? Because Joshua was afraid. But as he heard God's word, as he positioned to hear God's word, faith came to him. We'll pick it up next time in, a, in this series. Make good things happen. God bless you.